I'm Catherine with Epic Mountain Sports and today we're bringing you the local scoop. Uh, today we're going to talk with Bob Wolf, a pro ski patroller at Winter Park, and find out what it's like to be a patroller at the mountain. Hi Bob, thanks for coming today. Hi Catherine, how are you today? Great, so I hear you've been a ski patroller since the beginning of time at Winter Park. Is that true? Pretty close, you yeah. know. Um, started back in 1975 wow. and uh, volunteered for a couple years, but I started permanently in uh, 1975. So what does a patroller do? I mean, how does your day start? Uh, we start out the day at 8 o'clock in the morning, generally, and uh, some people come in at 7. I'll start with those folks, and they come out, and uh, we do have some avalanche-prone areas uh, at the area, and they actually go up there and do uh, snow safety. Uh, which are some explosive work and then the rest of the group comes in generally around 8 o'clock. Um, we start out the days with meetings and then we go up and we ski what we call a trail check on every trail, get through that throughout the day and then um, uh, continue with um, accident responses and just general um, items throughout the rest of the day. S set teams which we call skier education teams and, and uh, just kind of general uh, upkeep of the mountain. So if somebody gets hurt, they phone in an accident and you guys respond to it and, and yes, take care of it? Yes, uh, we have uh, multiples of phones on the mountain uh, which they can use. Uh, they can report uh, any accident to the lift operators at the bottom and uh, right now we're seeing a lot of people actually report accidents uh, via cell phones too. So, uh, okay, so that's a good uh, idea. There are three different ways of uh, doing things like that and so we, we try to garner information so we can get to those uh, folks as quick as quickly as possible so we can get them off the hill. So it looks like one of the hard parts I see you pulling the sleds down the hill. That looks a little difficult. Is there a lot of training involved in that? Or? Uh, there is uh, quite a bit of training when, it, when you first start out as a patroller. So it uh, takes uh, literally a couple months uh, before we uh, let you uh, go out and do it by yourself. But uh, there's a lot of training that goes on. And then ultimately at the end of the, um, of the training cycle, we do a, a full on uh, sled test down outhouse. Oh wow, that's so, a really long, bumpy run. <laughs> well, it's uh, we consider it one of our harder ones, and and so uh, it, we feel if you can run a sled down that, then uh, you can pretty much run a sled anywhere on the hill. Then now, do they actually have somebody in the sled when they're doing the test? We 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 run it just like a full-on okay. accident, so it's uh, just like a real thing. So it sounds like then they'd be pretty well prepared to handle anything. Yep, at least we hope so. Right. So you also monitor skiers safety wise you know speeders yeah we uh, we have what they call a, a skier edu education teams that go out there and um, you know we, we try and hit our uh, higher profile trails uh, Cramner, Phipps you know we get okay. a lot of traffic uh, on those we have a lot of different uh, caliber skiers on those trails too so we want to try and um, you know slow down the the expert skier that's coming down really fast because you know we get uh, uh, the um, you know beginner skier on there and we want to make that their experience just right. as well as safe as the uh, uh, the expert skier so we we will actually uh, slow those folks down and and uh, if it uh, really comes down to it we'll uh, give them a, a warning, can, a warning and, <laughs> and, and if they're really bad we can send them to school to okay. class the next day nice to get their ticket back <laughs> So I've heard about the sweep at the end of the day. What exactly is a sweep? Well, at the end of the day, um, it uh, generally starts about quarter after four um, when the, all the lifts are closed and uh, we uh, go out and we, um, we actually physically sweep every trail on the hill. Uh, we want to make sure everybody's off the mountain at night. So you ski down every trail on the mountain? We ski down every trail. Wow. If we don't hit every trail, at least we site close okay. a lot of things. We have a lot of different uh, roads and, and mm -hmm. shortcuts that we can take to make sure that we hit every trail as well okay. as we possibly can. Because we don't want anybody stuck up there right. at night. So as far as new people coming in, first time skiers, what kind of safety tips and can you give them? What would you recommend? Well, first thing to do is when, you know, they're going to come up here to 9,000 feet, so their body is working twice as hard as uh, uh, where they live at. So mm -hmm. they need to drink plenty of water, um, get uh, and come well prepared to go up on the hill, you know. So go to your ski shop. Uh, if you don't have the right clothing, they will fit you up and uh, get you the right gear and then go to the mountain, take a ski school class, 
uh, get set for that, and then your your really your trip's going to be very successful. Well, great. Well, thanks for coming in. I think you've given us some good safety tips, kind of an overview of what a patroller does, and um, hopefully everybody will stay safe out there, and we won't have to take a ride down in your sled. Uh, that sounds great. Great. Thanks a lot. I'm Catherine with Epic Mountain Sports, bringing you the local scoop.